investigators want them if they do. So if the tapes are real, could they either help or hurt this president? Well, I think they already have hurt him in the sense that even if they're fabricated, his tweet about them is what uh, prompted James Comey to decide to uh, deliver memos uh, to reporters that would corroborate his version of events. And I think the real problem here is that you know 19 million people watched the testimony this week that James Comey delivered. And anyone who was fair-minded saw somebody who came off as extremely diligent and honest and detail-oriented, which is uh, basically the mirror image of President Trump's public persona. And that's why you do not want to get into a uh, my word versus his word with somebody like James Comey, who documented carefully everything that occurred with President Trump. So I think Comey, you know, he said, I hope the tapes exist because he's so confident in his version of events. Well, let's talk just a bit more about that. The president uh, basically branding Mr. Comey as a liar and a leaker. Uh, if the president says he's willing to testify, to put his own credibility on the line against that testimony of James Comey, uh, what's the calculation here for Mr. Trump? He's willing to boil this down to a he said, he said under oath. Well, I think it's a mistake. I mean, I think, first off, let's clear something up. He, he, what he said was that he provided details of unclassified memos to a reporter via a friend. That's not a leak. A leak involves classified information. There's nothing illegal that says if you take notes about a meeting with the president, you cannot, as a private citizen, thereby disclose it. So he, he's not, he did not admit to any leaking. Uh, in terms of lying, I mean, I think James Comey has built up a reputation as an honest person who is widely respected in the intelligence community, in the Department of Justice, and outside of it. Uh, president Trump has had more than 600 misleading or false statements in the few months that he's been president. He has lied repeatedly about things like President Obama being born in Kenya. He was not. So, you know, when you get down to a credibility contest, Everyone who's fair-minded in the world knows that Trump is going to lose that battle. And so I think it's, it's a very unwise decision to try to go up against somebody who has spent their career building credibility versus somebody who has spent their career showing why they should not deserve credibility in the public eye.